A very warm welcome to this, the first film in our Between the Lines series. In it, we look at the relationship between living space and construction space. What is space? Space is formed by the elements that delimit it. Take this cardboard box, for example. The various parts or elements that make it up the base, the sides and the lid form a space that is initially empty but that can subsequently be used to store all sorts of odds and ends or even as a bed for the family cat, for example, thereby transforming the interior of the cardboard box into living space. Everyone is familiar with indoor spaces like the rooms contained within buildings, for example. They are places where people come together, where they do things independently or in groups within a protected living space. But there are also outdoor spaces. Towns and cities, for example, are made up of street spaces, squares and courtyards. And then there are landscape spaces formed by topography, vegetation and water in the form of lakes and ponds. Now that we have defined space, let's take a look at the notion of construction. Construction refers to the joining together of components, seen in terms of process, or to the structure they form, seen in terms of outcome. Components are assembled into constructions. Bricks and stones are laid one on top of another to form walls, glass is used in windows, tiles are laid on floors. These are all forms of construction. This construction itself occupies a space. Rather than an empty space, however, it is a construction space filled with components or construction elements. We can say, therefore, that filled construction space surrounds and encloses empty living space. Construction space is made up of mass and thus has a dimension. The window recesses in this image, known as reveals in architectural terminology, show the thickness of the external walls that shape the room. This wall thickness is determined by a range of factors that we will go on to explore in future lectures. Thinner components, such as doors, also have a dimension, of course, as you can see from the sliding door of this confessional, which is just a few centimetres thick. Even glass, for all its insubstantial appearance, has a dimension. Insulating glass, for example, consists of panes of glass separated by insulating spaces and is also several centimetres thick. Remember, every construction has a dimension and occupies a construction space. Summary Living space is formed by the elements that delimit it. Construction space always has a dimension because it's made up of mass. Filled construction space surrounds and encloses empty living space. Our Between the Lines series continues with film number two in which we look at how and why we make architectural drawings.